Thanks for watching another quick tip video from Go Engineer. My name is Bruce Schallert, and this quick tip video is going to be on creating a 3D PDF template using SolidWorks' model based definition template editor. Now, in order to do this, you need the model based definition add on so you can get to the template editor software. To get to the template editor software, we just click on the template editor button inside the model base definition tool and it'll bring up the template editor. Now you can create your own template from scratch but to begin with I'd recommend utilizing one of the templates that they already have in the system. So I'm going to show you some of the basics for creating a template and I'm going to do it by using the template that they have a uh, multi-sheet bomb independent view template because there's some stuff in here I can quickly show you so you can get the idea of what some of the other features are as well. So this template, in my opinion, has too many views on it. I would recommend deleting the views so you can make one large view because this is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper that you're going to be asking somebody to read dimensions on. So delete the views. The views do have borders around them. And the borders on this one was the exact same size as the view. So delete the borders. I'm going to go in and make this view much bigger. Now since that other border was right around it, we kind of have to fish this border out and delete the border. You see the border right here even has rounds in the corner. Let me go in and show you how to do a border from scratch as well. So I'm going to delete that one and I'm going to make this view as large as you really can for the size sheet that you have on it. You need these thumbnails over here. Matter of fact, on the final one, I'd recommend bringing this down so you get more thumbnails. These thumbnails are your view navigation buttons for going from your front top to right view. For this demonstration, I'm going to shorten it up because I want to go through and put some text in here and explain what the different types of text does. So first off, I'm going to go ahead and put a rectangle back on. And I'm not going to get too fancy. I'm just going to make a rectangle that goes bigger than my view. So I can differentiate the border of my view port from the border of my rectangle. If I want to make it thicker, I can go ahead and make it thicker. But that's really all there is to it to drawing stuff like a rectangle. Now the text has a little bit more to it. Let me go through the different options. So if I go through and place text in here, there are four different options. The text field option is the first one that comes up. This is what's going to come up when you go to publish the PDF document. It shows up in the property manager and it lets you put information in the property manager that gets published into the PDF but doesn't show. So I'll even call this published text. And you could put instructions like enter text in there. And you notice it still takes on the characteristics of what type of text it was. It was a text placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right there. Next I want to put on a different type of text and this text is going to be the template text field. The template text field is just like a label. So when you use the template text field you can change the text in here afterwards. You can click in on it and change it by telling it whatever it is that you want to make in the label. So this is going to be permanent text, kind of like the general comments down here, or the little title right up in here that you're going to have inside a document. So I'll move that down to there. Now from here, we've got a couple more text types. Let's go look at those. We've got the PDF form field text. Now this is going to be text that you can enter freely. So I'll just put enter freely in here. And this is also going to have a blue border when you click into it inside the SolidWorks PDF template after you publish the PDF template. 
So anybody with the PDF reader would be able to also type in information freely into this field. It's pretty much the same thing as this PDF area placeholder that allows you to type in free text in there. So just wanted to do some from scratch for you so you could see how it's done. It's pretty simple. The next field in here is a text field. So let me go in and move this one up a little bit. And then actually I'll, I'll make a little bit more room for that as well. And then we'll place one more text field in here. And this additional text field is going to be SOLIDWORKS Custom Property. Now, SOLIDWORKS Custom Property, you might have something like revision. Now, this property is or needs to be in your properties of your SOLIDWORKS file. So let me get that spelled right in here. And that really should be all there is to it. And again, I'm just doing these as examples, but if you utilize this, you might want to come over and look at what properties they have. This is a custom property called title, and it's utilizing custom property called title. I might want that to show the description. So I'll add description there, and that's really it. From there, I can save my template. Now, if you try to save it in your default templates directory, this is going to be read only, and it's not going to let you change this. So I'll show you where your options in SOLIDWORKS are to set a default location that you can write to. But I'm just going to go ahead and browse to a location that I've got my PDF templates in that I've made, and it's under this PDF MBD document. And I'm going to call this my example one and save it. From here, I can go in and leave my template editor and go to the Publish to PDF. Now, when I publish to PDF, if it's looking at a different directory under the Browse, you're going to have to go in and click on the directory that you just made to find your templates. Now. I'll show you in a minute how to go in and make it so you only have one template directory. It's an option inside of SOLIDWORKS. But for now, here's my example one that I just made. This is where you're telling it what views you want to publish. If you don't want to publish some of your views, you can take them out or you can click on views to add. This is where you can tell it what custom property values you're going to be adding in like revision or the title is the description. And this is where that publish text field comes up. And this is where I would go in and enter some custom text that gets published here. And then we'll go save the file name. I'll call this example. and let it publish, and after it publishes, it can go ahead and bring the PDF up if that's your default option that's sitting down at the bottom of the property manager. So here's the custom template. If I click into the view, it'll open the views up. Now, like I said, I typically have this pulled all the way down at the bottom, so I'd see multiple views all at once that I could navigate to really easily. But this is what the text is all about. This is the published text, and I can't change this text. And this is the PDF form field that I can enter really anything I want. And if I really made text go longer, I get the scroll bar or I get the little plus key showing me that I've got more text there. So, And all this can be done with the standard Adobe Reader. So after it's been published. You can go ahead and enter that text. Here's where it brought in the property for the revision. Here's my label that you can't really change in here as far as the text label. And again, here's just an area like my PDF form field up here that I can enter text freely. I probably would want to change my logo out to 
make my logo, but that's pretty much it for just doing the basics for the PDF template editor. If I wanted to go in and look at where my options were, I could go to my options in SolidWorks. Under file locations, I can go to 3D PDF themes. If I took my default directory out and only put one directory in that I could write to, that would allow me to work with one standard directory on the network for everybody. But as you're doing them, you want to, might want to make a, another directory and just put your test ones in this. This is not a writable directory, so I'll uh, we'll just let you know that right up front. And you shouldn't really be going in and changing that to be writable, seeing that it's under your SOLIDWORKS load point. And last on the list is just getting back into the original template. Again, I would delete all these and bring this down to where you get more thumbnail views. But you also have page two, which has the bomb table area. And that has a lot more information in it. You can use the bomb tables or general tables to bring stuff in from SOLIDWORKS. Um, this video isn't concentrating on that. So page two and page three, I might just go in and delete before saving. So you have everything on one page for your first PDF template. Anyway, I hope this information was useful to you. Uh, come back for another Go Engineer video. Thanks again for watching.